I'll be showing you step by step how to set up sales pop ups for your Shopify store. To do so, we'll be using a completely free app. This app is called Hulk Sales Pop Notifications, and it's going to make it super easy to set up these sales pop ups that are going to show up on our store when a customer purchases something. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. You can also just search for it in the Shopify app store. But once you're on the listing page, click install. This is going to bring us to our installation screen. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install. And from there, we're brought to the dashboard of the app. To note that if you don't have any store orders already, no orders are going to be displayed in the sales pop-up. And so let's go and set up this app here. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna head over to settings. And here we can go and enable it. So right now it is disabled. So we wanna click this enable button here. I'll hit save next. Once I hit save, it's gonna redirect me to the notification settings. Here I can decide on the layout for the app. Do I want a radius sales pop-up? a round sales pop-up or a square pop-up. Essentially, this is just gonna change the borders here. So I can see rounded corners, I can see very rounded or square. I'll go for the radius sales pop-up and I'll hit save on the top. I'll scroll down to the text and style format. So here I can change the language. So by default, it's going to say someone from the country recently purchased. So I can see here, it's gonna be someone from the USA as an example, it could be the UK, any country where the customer purchased from, then it's going to display the product name. So I get quite a few customization options. I can add more labels. Let's say I want to add the city, the province, the product title. Probably a little too much, but let's just say I want to add the city here. I could put this before the country. I'll put a comma in between. Now I can see it's changed to someone from Atlanta, USA, recently purchased. And this is going to dynamically update with the information from a customer's order. So I get more styling options in terms of the colors, product title color. I'll leave these as the default here. You can also add a background image. So you could upload one here. Additionally, we can set the positioning of the pop-up whether we want it to show on the bottom left, bottom right, top right or top left. We can set the animation and I'm gonna have this show on mobile. I'm just gonna leave all of these the default here, but feel free to customize this if you want to adjust a few things such as the sizing or colors. So now that we've customized our notification, let's head back to the general settings and we need to set up the theme integration. So I'll head over to pop up status and click on the theme integration button. This is gonna open up my Shopify theme editor, opening up the app embed section, and it should tick this off by default. We can also further customize the settings here if we choose to do so, but I'll leave these here and I'll hit save in the top right. We can see it's already been checked off for us. So let's head back to the previous tab here and there's a few more settings we can customize such as the display order. So the orders are going to be created within the last 30 days. We can change this to five, 10, 15, whatever you wanna do here. You can also do orders or just select custom products instead. I'll just leave these as days here. In terms of display options, we get some customization on how long to show it for, the delay in which they should be shown and the delay in between. So this is all personal preference here. And lastly, there is some settings we can put in for user acquisition source in Google Analytics. And so we can add the campaign source in Medium if we choose to do so. So if I go to my Shopify store now, I reload the page here. I can see that someone had purchased this as the outdoor camping bag and there is no customer information attached to it. So it is showing null and null, but looks like it's working okay. And it was a super easy app to set up. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, your transaction fees, your ad spend, your chargeback and your taxes. It's a lot of things to keep track of, and that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's a one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. And once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you want to see calculations for, and you're going to get real-time calculations all displayed in an easy-to-understand dashboard. You can see all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. It's going to integrate with quite a few cost of goods sold options, and it's going to allow you to make smarter business decisions as you have a true understanding of your store's performance. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and you can find it in the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. I'll also leave a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. So make sure you check that out so you can start truly understanding your store's financial performance. This is going to conclude the video here on how to add sales pop-ups to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed this video, Video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.